Hello and welcome to this quick overview of automation blocks for After Effects. Effectively, automation blocks is two things at once, namely first, a comprehensive collection of ready-to-use tools for After Effects, and second, a system where you can develop your own scripts and automations for After Effects without writing any code. Instead, you just combine blocks, which feels much more like playing with Lego bricks than writing any programming code. First, let's take a look at the ready-to-use tools which come with automation blocks. In the automation blocks library panel, you find all these tools in the category examples. In the category comps, you'll find an entire collection of tools to work with pre-comps, for example. As a first example, let's select these texts here and run the tool pre-compose and crop into single pre-comp. A dialog pops up where you can choose from all kinds of options for the pre-compose operation. Note that we have the Crop to Source Rect option enabled. Now you can see that the texts have been replaced by a precomp, and if we open the precomp, you'll see it's cropped exactly to the size of those layers. Now let's say we decide later on that this layer here should also be included in the precomp. With the layer selected, we can simply run the tool Copy or Move to Precomp. In the dialog that pops up, in this drop-down list, we can choose the precomp that it should be moved into. And here, we enable the option that the original layer should be deleted. After clicking OK, the layer is now moved inside the precomp. As you can see, the tools are very easy to use. But if you are not really sure how to use the tool, you can simply pause the mouse over the tool for a second. A tooltip will show up with a short explanation of the tool. And for a more detailed explanation, you can also click this Help button. Note that there is a difference between the Help button in the Library panel and the Help button in the Toolbar here. The Help button in the Toolbar brings you to the Start page of the Automation Blocks documentation, whereas the Help button in the Library panel always brings you directly to the help of the currently selected tool. Also, for some tools, for example if we select the Export list of footage items to text file, you will see the Help button is disabled. In those cases, the tool is so easy to use that it has no dedicated help page and you'll find all the information you need to use it in the tooltip. Also note that most tools have this icon here, which indicates that the tool has a user interface. If a tool does not have this icon, like the Shy Everything Except Layer at Current Time tool, then it has no user interface. If we run it, you can see that no dialog pops up and all layers that are not active at the current time have been shied instantly. So to sum up, the category examples contains a lot of ready-to-use tools and you can use the help tip or the help button to learn how to use them if needed. Next, let's talk about the user library and what the community library is. Below the category examples in the library, we also have the user library. Here, you can put all the tools which you have developed yourself or which other Automation Blocks users have shared with you. We highly encourage all users of Automation Blocks to share the tools they create. And as a central repository for those tools created by our user base, we created the Community Library. If you click on More from Community, you find more information about how to request tools or get help in the forums, how to download the community library and how to contribute to the community library yourself. Another great feature of Automation Blocks is that you can link any of its tools to a keyboard shortcut. For this, in the user library, you find the category with menu entry for shortcuts. If you want to execute any Automation Blocks tool with a keyboard shortcut, you need to save it in this category. For more details of how to execute automation blocks with keyboard shortcuts, see the Automation Blocks documentation. In the section AE Tutorials, you'll find the tutorial linking scripts or presets to keyboard shortcuts. Now let's see how to customize the existing tools or even write your own tools. For this, let's take a look at a very basic example, namely the tools in the category Comp Settings Performance. These allow you to quickly toggle between comp settings for high quality but slow rendering and low quality but fast rendering. If you open the script panel of automation blocks, you'll see the actual block code for the currently selected tool. If you run the tool set performance high quality, it will enable motion blur, enable frame blending and 
set the comp to render at full resolution. In contrast to this, the tool set performance low quality will disable motion blur, disable frame blending and set the comp to render at only quarter resolution. If you want half instead of quarter resolution, you could replace the 4 with a 2 here. If we run the tool now, you'll see that the resolution changes to half. This particular script simply uses several copies of the set attribute of comp block, but automation blocks comes with a ton of different blocks for manipulating compositions, layers, keyframes, the render queue, and also things like reading or writing texts or spreadsheet files. If you want to know more about what a particular block is doing, you can simply right-click on it and choose Help, which will bring you directly to the documentation of this particular block. To get started with writing your own Automation Blocks tools, look at the section AE Tutorials in the documentation. And I recommend the courses Writing Your Custom Project Setup Script and Write Your Custom Template Tool. And that's the end of the overview of Automation Blocks for After Effects. I'm sure this tool will take your workflow in After Effects to the next level. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the community.